touch that fire for you I do that three, four times again I testify for you I told I like you, that bitch I do it All that I'm around, you're scared to do it. I'm not Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Chica Beats. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chica Beats. I focus on beauty and lifestyle content, mainly here and makeup. And uh, um, in today's video, as you can see by the title, I will be installing this 13 by 4 frontal wig, bob cut. I have given it some streaks myself. This was a black wig, I bleached it myself. If you guys want to learn how to install this wig from scratch, no steps skip. Please continue watching this video. I will be installing this wig without a ball cap. So first, I'm going to be using my got to be glue, the one in the yellow, in the yellow tube, and I'm going to comb my hair backwards. Reason for doing this, I don't want the glue to be stuck in my flyaways or my little baby hair, my little edges that I have there. So I'm combing them out of the way. Next, I like to take my hot comb and to comb the hair backwards. You can do this on a mannequin head just to be safe, but I was. A, I was rushing a bit so I did it in my hands. You're going to take your ghost band glue and you're going to apply it apply it an inch away from your hairline and you're going to spread that evenly so and wait until your glue is dry to put down your lace wig. So my glue is partly dry, only the sections that is a bit white, that's the one that is stuck into my hairline. So the part that is clear, I'm going to go ahead and place down my lace wig. You're going to do this section by section or you can take your time and press it in. You're going to apply the wig on your forehead, then you're going to do the left side and the right side and ensure that you're pressing it in so it doesn't lift. You can take a wrap tail comb and ensure that the glue is well pressed in or you can use your fingers and rub it in so next i am going to use my wig melt band and i'm going to tie it around my hair to secure the wig for 20 to 25 minutes the reason for this you want your lace to be extremely melted so yeah so means that i have my my wig band tied around my hair i'm going to flat iron the front part of my hair you can do this section on a mannequin head but i choose not to i'm going to do it on my hair just to be safer you can do it on your mannequin head and i'm using the highest setting on this fat iron this hot comb i will link it down in my bio where you can buy it on amazon Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular Tell me would you Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So I'm finished flat ironing my hair and ensure that it is laid flat. I'm going to comb my hair backwards and I'm going to make a U side part. Uh, seaside part here yeah, so that's the style that I'm going for today 
after about 20 minutes or 25 minutes um that's how my hair was looking you're going to comb all the hairs that are fly away backwards and i'm going to use my melting spray and i'm going to melt my lace however i comb out my baby hairs because i want them to lay down so I'm going to use my melting spray and tie back around and let that melt for another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I am flat ironing my hair. Going in with this argan oil, this is a heat protectant. I'm going to use it to protect my hair and flat iron it to make it silky. So I am going for a side U part slash C part and I'm going to ensure that I part my hair the way that I like it and yeah. Using my wax stick, I'm going to wax my hair so it can get rid of the flyaways. Those are the little fine hairs that you're seeing and go over it with my hot comb. And I'm just sectioning off that part to ensure that it is super, super clean parting. Yeah. So I'm going to use Bob my got to be glued and I'm going to use it to form up my baby hair. Guys, I forgot to bring my small curling iron to curl my baby hairs. 
and I installed this wig without using a blow dryer. So the reason why I'm using the glue is to keep the baby hair down in place because it's a glue. Yeah, so it will dry clear. So I don't have to go in with a blow dryer and blow it down. So if you're ever out of blow dryer and you need to install your wig without using a blow dryer and a ball cap, you can definitely try this method. Like, it's my first time installing my wig without using a blow dryer, and I'm telling you, I'm editing this this video now about two weeks after installing this wig, and this wig lasted me a week, and I was the one who take it off. It wasn't falling off, it wasn't lifting or anything, and I did not use any blow dryer to dry the glue or to dry my baby hairs. So you want to take your time and do your baby hairs yeah, and curve them out the way you like them. If you like excessive baby hair, you make excessive baby hair. If you like small baby hair, you do make small like baby hair. But this is the way that I like my baby hair. So this is the way I'm wearing it. So I'm going to go over it with my hot comb again and comb my hair backwards and this is on high heat and please when you're hot combing please to press and comb. So I'm doing it because I need a little flip so I'm going to comb it backwards then hot iron it back to the front. You can watch to see what I'm doing. All right, so if you want your flip to stay, you can definitely spray that down or you can use the got to be glue. Um, I did not spray it down or you can use the spritz and spray down, but yeah, like this install came out so good. Look at that. Wow. Just wow. This install came out so good. So, so, so good. I mean, I did not use a blow dryer 
Nar. I love Cap. That is Gibbons Cap. Truly, truly, truly Gibbons Cap. And guys, I'm honestly going to give you this video as raw as it is. I'm not going to edit it down. I want you guys to see the full process and how much time you gotta really go over it to ensure that it is the way you like it. It's not just one time you try to fix it and everything is fixed. You understand? So I want you guys to see the full process. So this is a beginner friendly video of how to install an old wig without using a ball cap method and without using a blow dryer so i hope you guys like this video please remember to like share comment subscribe to your girl she could be this channel yeah so thank you guys for watching this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification for my next upcoming video it was a pleasure having you guys here i hope you learned something from this video and yeah so see you in my next video bye